Hi guys, myself Vishal. In the last video, we saw an integration of external relational database and stream data from table into Kafka topic. Today, I'll be doing the exact opposite of it. I'm going to sync the Kafka topic data into an any external relational database table. I'll be creating JDBC sync connector config just like source connector which will read data from topic and write into the table. Then later we will deploy this connector config to the confluence center using control center GUI. So let's get started. Okay, in order to build JWC sync connector, we would need topics to sync data to the table. So I'm going to use the same topic that is money transfer data that we have used in the last tutorial to build the JDBC source connector. We have a data into this topic. Okay, so I'm going to sync the same data into another MySQL table. Okay, so I'll change this view just to understand what are the field names we have into the topic data. So if I enlarge this one of the topic value here, you can see the what are the field names we have when we have a sender name, receiver name, sender account, receiver account, amount, right? So those are field names we have. And this is how my table look like okay so this is my database name and this is my new table where I'm going to sync that topic data that is a payment transfer details and if you look at this column names we have a bit of a different column names compared to the field names we have into the topic right sender name is same but instead of receiver name we have a beneficiary name instead of receiver account we have a beneficiary account instead of just amount column right amount field we have a transferred amount and beneficiary bank transaction id transaction date so some of the column names are different so here we are going to build a jdbc sync connector and we will map those topic attributes to this columns and sync the data okay so let's jump right into creating the connector config all right so this is the initial structure of our jdbc sync connector config some of the values I have prefilled, some of the values are left to be filled. So we will go one by one, understand each property and fill up for those values which are not filled up. Okay. So the first property is the name of the sync connector. So the name I am giving here is the payment details JDBC sync connector V1. So payment details is in line with my table name. So just to be common with the table name, that's why I have given it. Okay. Now within config, the first property we required is a connector.class. Now here the Java class, which is you want to build that sync connector. We want to build JDBC sync connector. So we have to mention that class name. So that class is present under io.confluent.connect.jdbc and the class name is JDBC sync connector. Okay. Next in line, we have task.max, the maximum number of tasks you want to create when you deploy this sync connector. So I want to create only single task for this. Okay. That's why I have given value as one. Okay. Then next we have topics. Okay. Now here in the topics, I have given our money transfer data v1 from where we want to sync that topic data into the table. Please take a note here that topics can be more than one. You can map multiple topics to the single table but right now we have only single topic to sync the data that's why i have given that topic name then we have a key converter and the value converter since our values and the key into the topics are in the form of avro that's why we are using the avro converter now when you mention the avro converter two more properties you have to mention that is a schema registry url okay so this is my schema registry it is running on my local host on 8081 portal next property we have is a transforms okay so i'm going to apply two transform functions here so i will give the custom names to the transforms function first one is flatten and second is rename fields okay this is the custom name to my transform function and i'm going to describe that later okay so the first flatten i will describe here so transforms dot flatten dot type so what is the type of that transform function okay that basically means the java class you have to mention here so that java class is org dot apache dot kafka dot connect dot transforms dot flatten and what you are going to flatten is the topic value okay and what is the use of this flatten 
it is useful when you have a value schema as a nested structure now you are using the now we have our value schema in the form of avro then it is possibility that your value schema could be in the nested structure that means value within the values could be present in those cases we have to flatten those values with the help of delimiter so that jdbc sync connector can easily understand those values and map to the table okay so the delimiter i'm going to use over here is underscore all right next transform function is rename fields okay so the type of this rename fields is going to be org.apache.kafka.connect.transform.replace field so this is going to replace so replace field is useful to replace or rename the value attributes present into the topic now this is important because the fields or the attributes present in the topic may not be exactly same as the column names present into the destination table so it is important to match those topic fields with the table column names that's why we have to rename we have to say here such way that when the field names is this from the topic it should go to this specific column name okay so here just like uh, i'll give one example let's say sender underscore name is our topic field right it should go to colon okay this is actually the format you have to write and it should go to sender underscore name now the column name and the topic field name is same here so there is no problem now about receiver name okay receiver name is another field in the topic but there is no column called receiver name in our table we have a beneficiary name okay so beneficiary name so this way we have to map our topic field names to the column names okay so eventually this value will look like this so i have mapped all the topic field names to the specific column names okay so this is how it has been mapped so next properties we have is a connection.url so it's a database connection url so it's going to be the database where you're going to sync that topic data okay then we have a connection.user the user and its password okay so i'm going to use the database credentials over here okay so these are my database credentials now next property we have is a insert mode it is a mode to insert a data into table now there are some valid values we have to use one is insert that means every time there is a new record into the topic you will always insert into the table then we have absurd that means if it's a new record into the topic and the table then insert the record if it's the existing record already present into the table then update that record that's for that purpose we use absurd then we have only update that means we will never insert the record we will always update the existing records so the best way to use when you are using the sync connector is absurd that means it is a possibility that you could have new records as well as existing records so in those cases for new records it should insert into the table and for existing records it should update the table hence i am going to use absurd mode over here so i will update this to absurd okay next property we have batch dot size that means how many records to attempt to batch together for loading to the destination table okay this value in the production could be in thousand but for demo purpose i'm going to use this value a smaller number like two okay the next property we have table dot name dot format so basically it's a table name the destination table name where you're going to load the data okay so my table name is so this is going to be my table name okay this is the database name and this is the payment transfer details is the table name okay then we have pk dot mode it's a primary key mode to be set okay then the valid values we have none kafka coordinates something fields from the record key that means the topic key or some fields from the record value that means the topic value okay so it is important to set this primary key so that it will identify the unique records and 
I am recommending you should use this value as always record value because that is the actually the values the topic values you are going to map to the table so I am going to set here record value so I will update here record underscore value now when you set this record value okay you have to mention the list of field names you want to use as a unique okay or as a primary key okay so in that case you have to fill the next property that is pk dot fields here you have to give a list of comma separated primary key field names you want to set here so the primary key field names i'm going to use for my destination table is a transaction id so i will update here right this is my field and last property we have is a db dot time zone so time zone where this connector will be deployed right so i'm going to set this time zone asia kolkata this is a this is my time zone all right so we got our sync connector config created now let's try to deploy this and see if our topic data is able to sync to the table okay so here i am on confluence center so let's upload our jdbc sync connector config so i'll click on this upload okay so this is my json file payment details jdbc sync connector v1 i'll select it so this is all our properties pre-filled i'll click on next this is our connector config i'll click on launch so it will be deployed okay now you see this connector is started running okay that means it started loading the data into the table now let's go to the database and see if we have any data into that table okay so this is our table name payment transfer details so i will run this query now as you can see this table has been filled that means we are able to sync the topic data into this table data now if you take a note carefully this beneficiary name is mapped correctly to our receiver name which was the field present in the topic so accordingly all the fields are mapped correctly the way we have given into our connector config so this way we can build the jdbc sync connector to sync the topic data into the table